Hi, today I'm going to show you the basics of creating a Google Form. To start off, you need to be in your Google Drive, and you can see I've actually already gone into the shared folder for the class. To start a form, you click on New, and then usually you have to do More, and then Google Forms. This will give you a blank form ready for you to start. Now the first thing you do, as usual in Google, is to give it a title. And you should probably add some description. And then you can start adding questions. So when it says untitled questions, that's the space where you actually put the question that you're going to ask. Um, so in my case, I'm going to ask, how did you travel to school today or to campus? And I'm, that's going to be a multiple choice question. I'm going to just give a few options. This is just an example. So And then I'm going to put add other at the bottom. And the good thing about that is it's going to give a fill in the blank option for people who came some other way. Um, if you want, you can even add, you can change the question types and we'll have a separate video about the different question types. Now I'm going to add a second question. So over at the right, you see this plus sign that adds a new question and I'm going to ask will you eat in the cafeteria today and I'll say give three options yes already have Yes, will later today, and no. So now I have my two questions, and that's a very simple survey for an example. If I want to um, see what my survey would look like for my respondents, I would go over here and click on Preview. And this shows me how it would look for my respondents. You can see that they see the title, the description, the questions, which they can answer. And then they would do submit to submit their surveys. Go back to our original tab. The other thing is when they submit their surveys, where do the answers go? They go to this tab called responses. Now, I have zero responses so far, so I don't have anything. But what you should do is click on this green icon, and what that's going to do is to create a spreadsheet that will actually hold your responses. And give it a good name. Because later you're going to want to be able to find it. And you see it sets up a spreadsheet for me with a timestamp that's when the survey was filled out and then with a column for each of the questions. So that's going to be super for being able to look at my results later. Um, and when we did have results, we would start to see tables and graphs with the results in this tab. Okay, so now you have your survey. What do you do next? Um, we're going to be doing um, personal interviews with people. So in that case, we would just print our survey to make multiple copies as one option. So we would just use our normal browser print function, which would be to go to file and then select print or to do control P, which is what I'm going to do. <clears throat> and you see it gives you a pretty nicely formatted um, survey sheet and then you could just press the print button 
to be able to print copies. Um, the other option for administering your survey is for you to go to the actual survey and fill it out on a device such as a smartphone or an iPad or even a laptop computer that you could just be using while you're doing the interviews. So how would you be able to do that? Instead of going to the preview, you would go to send and there you would be able to get a link. This will give you the link to your survey um, and you can copy this link, press control C or command C depending on if you have a Mac or a Windows computer and then you can open up that survey into a tab on your browser um, and that will let you fill in the answers for your individual respondents and submit them for the respondents. And that's a good overview of how to create and administer a Google form.